talking about the relationship between the manufacturer and the, the person who's claiming harm at the end of the day. And what uh, we know here is, is that uh, the plaintiffs had it exactly right in their opposition to Wolverine's notice of non-party at fault. They were, they were right on when they said that there is no relationship, contractual, commercial, or otherwise, between 3M and the plaintiffs in the case. And again, in Ray's certified question, I would commend to the court, makes very clear that that is the lodestar inquiry, and it simply cannot be satisfied on this complaint. Wolverine did exactly what they did, although they knew it was bad, allegedly, we had no idea. And that's why there's nuisance liability. I mean, it's just an amazing amount of material that shows that 3M knew from the beginning the dangers of this product, did not fully disclose it, hid information from regulators. And, and all of that, a lot of that is pled, but a, there's a lot more that exists that would be put in at the relevant time. And that goes to these questions where they're trying to say, well, we're a manufacturer and we're a seller, so therefore we can't be liable. There is no blanket rule that a manufacturer is not liable or a seller. The question the facts. what they know? what they tell people? How culpable are they? That's the Bleda case. Did they have control? They have contracts with, this is a patented product. They are the only ones who made it.